just stay home for a bit until it turns <laughs> green. Now, as cinemas are starting to reopen uh, today, I believe you mentioned, right? Yes, that's right. So correct. moviegoers could also look forward to this year's Indonesian Film Festival, or FFE. That's coming up, I believe, next month? Next month. On the, on actually, two months from now, 10th of November. No, 10th of November. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. Mm -hmm. So does the, what does this mean? It's good news for the film industry? Well, we're about to find out because we're connected with actor Reza Rahadian, who also serves as FFE Committee Chair. Hi, Reza. Good morning. Morning, Reza. Thank you for joining us. Hi. Good morning, Paul. Good morning, Reza. Yeah, good to see you again after not seeing you for about a year yeah. when we shot our film together. Yeah. Anyway, really? so the cinema is open. Hopefully we'll be released in the cinema. Yes, hopefully, <laughs> right? Um, well, hopefully. it starts from today because the cinema is open today. Right. So how do you feel about it? What's your thoughts around it? First of all, I think I, I would definitely feel very excited about this news. And I think this is a new hope for the film industry. Um, it's a good news for everyone who works in the film industry, especially. So I guess that would be... Well, let's see. It's very slow because we don't know uh, the response from the audience side. Because mm. we might need some time to make sure that they, they're willing to go to the cinema. But with the health protocol and everything, uh, the, 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 the requirements, I think it would be, it would be okay. Mm. Uh, Reza, it's a good hope. Yeah. Mm. It's a good hope. It, it definitely is uh, like the first step for us to getting to a little bit back to normalcy. But Reza, what do you think about, you know how we've all gotten used to almost two years of streaming everything <laughs> and binging. We're binge watching, we're binge uh, eating. Well, I'm binge, binge eating. Binge watching everything. <laughs> Yeah. And also, especially those of us with little ones, that I would only go to the movies. I've been watching nothing but cartoons for the last six years in the movie theaters because I have little ones, and that's one of the activities that we would do. Yeah. How much do you think uh, the com combination of those two things will impact uh, the return of people in the, uh, going to the movies? So here, here's the interesting part. Watching film um, from OTT platform, mm -hmm. um, it's an individual experience, right? Mm. It's it's kind of different. You, yes, you can watch with family members, but maybe not that much. People. But watching in the cinema with a cinematic experience, it's a communal thing. Mm. Yes, true. So it's completely different. You, you cannot experience that watching something on your phone. Mm. So hopefully that is the thing that people are missing out yeah. with this Good. past two years. It's a good yeah. point, especially in a horror movie when everyone's screaming. <laughs> At the same time, you know, don't yeah. Get yeah, it's fun to watch horror films in the cinema with your friends, right, scream right. together, or a comedy, laugh together, and things like that. Yes, I completely agree with you, Reza. And uh, what are the films that you are in um, that hopefully will be released uh, very soon? Vengeance is all mine, all others pay cash. Uh, has won the Golden Leopard in the Locarno International Film Festival. Congratulations, Congratulations. to you and the whole team. Thank you so much. Yeah, and so can you confirm with, uh, for us, will this film be screened at the cinema? Because I definitely want to see this in the big screen. Um, I'm not sure, but <laughs> according, according, according to the producer, she said she, she is trying her best to make sure that this movie will be screened on the cinema so in the theater so yeah let's see maybe not this year hmm. right maybe yeah, maybe next year right yeah. uh, yeah. so yeah. let's talk a little FFE um, how excited are this year's applicants and are there actually more applicants this year uh, in comparison to the last yeah it's, it's surprising and I think it's surprising um, the total applicants is about 70 films. Wow. Oh, that's a lot. So last year was 63. Mm. And this is the first year where actually the Indonesian Film Festival are held and also we are receiving a lot of films that are in production during the, the COVID period. Mm, mm, mm. Because last year we still have <laughs> films that are produced from before right? uh, in 2019, right? Mm, before. Yep. Yes. True. But now, so it's surprising. I mean, that that indicates the the spirit of Indonesian filmmaker to keep on producing films and making <laughs> films. So we at least can see the maps of how the Indonesian film are still growing in this, you know, our hard time. But yeah, I think that's a very, uh, very good indicator. 
What are the films we can expect to see competing in this prestigious award, Reza? From the third, from the short list, we can see films like Uni, films like Paranoia, films like Nyali Chahaya, and also films on OTT, we're opening for there uh, as well. Um, they can they can join this uh, festival as well. Mm. But today, mm -hmm. we are waiting for the 20 shortlist from the associations. <gasps> it's today? Another show. It's today. Wow. We are working with Dr. Ann Randall, um, a public accountant, so they will happily <laughs> own the, the films. That's we'll really see. big. 20 films. 20 yeah. films, that's very exciting. And you also, FFE yeah. under you, you also create, you and your team have also created these four new categories, right? It is introduced in this year's FFE. Yes. What are these yeah. four new categories and why have you and the rest of the members of the committee decided to create yeah. these new categories? Yeah, one half hour uh, biggest mission is to, to, to rebuild all the ecosystem in the industry and we cannot detach that from the audience, right? Because we need the audience as well. So in order to make sure that we, are, can, we can work together with the audience for this festival, we have new categories such as favorite film, act, favorite actor, favorite actress, and critics award. So That's that, really those are the, the four. Um, it's just also to, to make the audience feel like they're connected with the Indonesian festival, so they want to really, uh, feel yeah, missing out or left out. And it, 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 uh, to, for me, it provides a little bit of credibility in a way because it's almost like sometimes when you, when you watch the Oscars and be like, yeah, that film won, but all my friends all would have chosen this one. Yeah. Whereas now, you know, you can actually compare, like, and maybe it's the same, maybe it's not. So well, how about the festival itself, Reza? What do you think the festival itself will be like, considering we're still under uh, a lot of uh, COVID-19 restrictions? Because we are yeah. used to, in the past, having this big grand event yes. that, that might likely not happen, or will it? Yeah, the nomination night will be held on the October 10th. And it's online. Okay. It's, mm. it's not even a, a hybrid, so it's completely online. All the journals will be online. So only the, the the presenter would be on the studio. So we're live on the net, um, announcing all the nominations. And for the Malam Anugrah Piala Citra, it would be hybrid. Like last year, only the nomination, the nominees are there. But we are trying to make a plan B if the situation is not good. <laughs> if, <laughs> if the situation is getting worse, but yeah, we do have the, the plan B for that. We'll make it online. Fingers crossed. You'll make it online. That was my question actually. Fingers and it's crossed. like because we never know, right? In November. We don't know. Hopefully the situation yeah. is great, but if it's not yeah. great, you will hold it online. Okay, well, uh, yeah. Reza, uh, we have four Indonesian films uh, currently screening in, in various international film festivals, right? Yeah. Like, for example, your film Vengeance, and then Uni, and then Photocopier, and then Wide Angle. So what's your take on this uh, phenomenon that more and more Indonesian films and filmmakers are being recognized in the international uh, film festivals. Yeah, I think um, our, our, our filmmakers are used to work on their own to participate in the international film festival. Mm. But one of the most important things for me, that's why I, I, I talk about this, the government side as well, is because we need their attention. Yeah. We need the, we need the, the country to be there. We need the government to be there. Because mm -hmm. Um, it's not just about the recognition, it's because these people are representing not just the Indonesian film community, but mm. they're representing Indonesia. Yes. An international audience. Right. So, of course, I think it would be nice if we don't to pay attention on this. For example, if you can give something or a big attention to our athletes mm. bringing gold, 
mm -hmm. something like that. Yeah. Why not film industry? Mm -hmm. you no. Know? Great idea. So we need that. You know. We, yeah. we, that's why I I I, I try to talk about this uh, with Adele with these people as well mm. because I think this is a very important issue. Because otherwise, we our filmmaker is great. You know, mm. they have great ideas. They have great. Um, how they pictures, movies, and everything. But yeah. of course, we need more attention to that. We need more support. Mm. Right, and I think uh, it's a great comparison to sports. In fact, for sports, it might be actually even more challenging because you're, you know, in most ways, yeah. phys physically competing with people with other countries where genetically you have a lot of differences. Where here, it's creative. Like, everyone yes. can be just as good, if not better, creatively. It doesn't matter where you're from. That's I've good. got one last question for you, Reza. You did mention earlier on, and it's kind of sticking in my head. You mentioned COVID films, and that is something that I thought about a lot because a lot of things that I've been watching over the last couple of years, mm. I felt the transition from 2019 films and then these new films started coming out yeah. and I noticed these films had smaller casts sometimes or they would they would be more yeah. intimate Location. settings exactly <laughs> I'm wondering in regards to the uh, FFE this year and in regards to all the applications have you noticed that transition as well in regards to the uh, the the applications that you've been screening and how does that impact the festival overall do you think um, well it's always it's always interesting to see films with uh, few actors in it, you know, who are mm -hmm. very focusing on the, on the story and on the emotions and everything on the character. But if I, because I've seen lots of Indonesian films for FFV, mm -hmm. uh, but I think it's still quite surprising because the film that using that specific theme, mm -hmm. it's not that much. Mm -hmm. uh, Interesting. Maybe I can say five to ten percent. Okay, that's yeah. Wow. Yeah, so it's it's not that. It's so it's uh, the numbers of films, we have horror films, we have drama, we have comedy. Um, it's still um, mind blowing. Yeah, I guess. Mm. it's not limiting creativity. Thank no. goodness. I <laughs> no, guess. Right. limiting. Creativity. Yeah. 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 And probably they're also applying the bubble system, right? Right. Because I've seen that, you know, yeah. doing the bubble system where, okay, all of the actors and crew and everyone involved in this film, let's just quarantine each other, right. quarantine with one another, you know, it's True. like, and don't go anywhere during the film shoot and then when the film shoot is over and then, okay, yeah. just right. party on, you know? Yeah. So everyone in front yeah. of the camera can be focused as well because exactly. you don't want to be nervous because you're the one who has to take yeah. the mask off and everything. Yeah. Of course. <laughs> my, my Indonesian came out, yeah. <laughs> Anyway, Love thank it. you so much, Mr. Yeah. Adian, for <laughs> Thanks, sharing so with much. us this morning. <laughs> yes, Thanks. good luck definitely with FFE and all of your future projects. Have a great day and stay healthy. It's good always. seeing you again. Take care. Bye, Rez. Bye bye. Have a great morning. Bye. Stay healthy. Nice. Good morning.